Welcome to the uh, Contour project update. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, Project Contour, what's been happening recently, and uh, particularly highlighting some of the really great uh, community contributions that we've had lately. So let's get started. Uh, my name is Sanjay Bhatia. I'm one of the uh, uh, maintainers of Contour. I'm an engineer at VMware. And here we have. Yeah, my name's Nigel. I am a developer advocate at Intuit, and I focus on community things around Contour. All right, so let's get started off with uh, just a little bit of background, just for anyone who's, who's new to this space. Um, so what is Contour? Uh, Contour is a Kubernetes ingress controller that uh, uses Envoy. Um, if we're kind of not super familiar with Contour or not familiar with ingress controllers in general, here's a little diagram about generally how Contour uh, is set up in a, in a Kubernetes cluster. So um, uh, we read configuration from Kubernetes resources. Uh, Envoy and Contour are set up to securely communicate over the uh, XDS protocol. Um, and uh, your typically web clients can be uh, other types of traffic as well. Connect to a, a, a single IP address in, for the, uh, to get access to your backend services, typically using a service of type load balancer. Um, and then the configuration that Contour sends to Envoy uh, routes traffic to your um, uh, apps based on different paths, different host names, um, and, and yeah. Um, Envoy is, uh, I'm sure people have seen in uh, various talks and EnvoyCon here at, at, uh, at KubeCon on Monday, but uh, Envoy is a, a, a super powerful tool. It's kind of become like a de facto standard for like proxying and service proxying in uh, Kubernetes especially. Um, so uh, here's some reasons, I guess, why uh, we use Envoy as a data plane. Um, super well maintained, uh, well tested, performant, observable uh, proxy that uh, we're like it has been the contour has been built around since the it, it, its inception, and we're super happy to be involved with the Envoy community and uh, build a product around it. Yeah, uh, another reason that Contour is a great tool to use is that it's not really a new project. And, and it's uh, something that is being used in production scale at VMware and other companies. <laughs> um, it's been an incubating project since 2020, um, and it's got a robust feature set around it and active maintainers to help uh, drive the project forward. Uh, so a little bit about the history. Uh, the first uh, instance of Contour back in 2017. Um, and as we've gone through time, uh, we, the Gateway API conformance was a big moment for us in July of last year. And just last month, we had our v1.27 release. Um, but yeah, we've been implementing a lot of API gateway features and are more and more conformant with uh, Gateway API as time passes. Um, so it's been in GA since uh, November of 2019, um, being used at scale in many production environments. Uh, and yeah, the last three minor releases are supported, and um, we've got nine months of support for each, and then a lot of backports for CVEs that come through and high severity uh, bug fixes. Some of the features that uh, Contour has, uh, you can see on the screen uh, the path header query based routing, uh, TLS termination, a lot of other advanced features that are implemented in most uh, API gateway uh, implementations. And uh, yeah, earlier I alluded to kind of the Contour reading resources from a Kubernetes cluster um, to allow you to configure uh, your routing and, and ingress. Um, so Contour supports uh, uh, multiple configuration APIs. So um, our own CRD HTTP proxy, uh, we support uh, 
Gateway API, as, as Nigel mentioned. So Gateway API is the next generation of Kubernetes service networking APIs. Uh, we're fully conformant um, with all the core uh, Gateway API features and uh, many of the extended uh, many of the extended features. Um, and of course, we also support Kubernetes Ingress, uh, the uh, kind of a great way to get started with Ingress. Um, and if that's what you need, you don't need anything more advanced than path routing and uh, a little bit of TLS, then it's a, gr it's a great way to go. Yeah, so um, Contour is a community-driven project, um, and we want to talk about uh, how you all can get involved and also just highlight some of the awesome things that members of our community have been doing. So uh, all of the features that you see up here were proposed by community members and had implementations who are folks who are submitting feature requests. We've got a public roadmap, and uh, we're open to hear, hearing how you all want to move the project forward. And we wanted to call out a few uh, of our contributors here. So the HTTP proxy uh, IP filtering support. Um, we've got the external or the exporting request tra tracing data to open telemetry. The open telemetry uh, request was made pretty early. And then, yeah, was implemented by a community member. Um, and uh, yeah, other features for HTTP proxy, gateway API, gRPC, uh, route support. So thank you to our contributors. Um, and this was in v1.25, which we talked about back in uh, KubeCon in Amsterdam in April. Um, but in our most recent release, we have some other community contributions that we want to call out again, or we'll call out for the first time. <laughs> Uh, a lot of Gateway API support um, from uh, some of our community members. Uh, we've got improvements for listeners and clusters, and then more HTTP proxy, and then uh, the big Kubernetes 1.28 update support for that. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to like have a like a, a great thank you to all the community members. Um, we've seen a really great increase in like the quality and the the. Um, the size of community contributions lately, and we're really excited about that. Um, people taking uh, features all the way from uh, an issue that they need a new feature in Contour to a full, like, really well-written design document, um, all the way to uh, implementation going through the re review process. So that's we've seen kind of an uptick in that in the last year, I feel like. Um, and so we're really happy with uh, uh, the community, like, the way the the direction the community is going and hopefully being able to um, give people the latitude to uh, do the work that they think is important for Contour. Um, and we're always open to, to these kinds of uh, new changes, big changes, um, and uh, supporting the community. So um, if, if anyone has feedback on how we can do things better, that would be, that'd be beautiful to hear. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to call out the community has been really great in, in pushing uh, Contour forward. Um, but yeah, just highlighting some of the features that were driven by, uh, dr driven in uh, Contour 1.26. A um, uh, big one is uh, uh, get in Gateway API support. Uh, previously, we only supported uh, two ports per gateway. So basically, you could only configure an HTTP and HTTPS listener on a gateway. Um, so your gateway listeners may look something like this. You have an HTTP one on port 80, HTTPS on port 443, kind of standard HTTP, HTTPS traffic. Um, but now, uh, this is a, a kind of a requirement for uh, gateway API conformance. Uh, but uh, we, you can configure many ports on a gateway API listener. So you can kind of interleave different things that you might want to uh, support. So we also um, added support for TCP route, which is kind of a uh, generic TCP uh, proxying um, mechanism that uh, Gateway API uh, provides. It's kind of been a long-standing um, uh, feature request in Contour uh, that people just want to be able to say, hey, give me a port. I want to forward TCP traffic through Envoy, get all the nice metrics and stats that Envoy can provide about that. So um, that was a, a big feature in uh, Contour 126. And uh, this is a... a feature that was provided by a, a community member, um, HTTP route uh, regex matching, which is um, kind of an interesting thing that didn't exist before in Contour. Uh, is uh, maybe a little bit surprising. 
um, that uh, matching on paths and headers with uh, regexes was not supported. But this was some uh, kind of a to show uh, so a community member had a use case had needed this feature and they were able to show up and and uh, contribute this. So it was really great to see. Um, yeah, we can go. Um, all of these all of these features are also documented in the control release notes, um, which we uh, kind of push contributors to uh, um, write detailed release notes so that other users and these kinds of things can be self-documenting as well. So you can find more details about these features in the contour release notes on the GitHub page. Uh, now to the most recent contour release. Um, just calling out some of the uh, contributors and what they've uh, brought to the table in contour 127. Um, so we had a, a pretty important bug fix from uh, Sotiris from Reddit uh, and kind of a, a kind of a table stakes thing that um, hadn't been implemented before when in endpoint slice uh, support from um, Clayton as well. Um, I'm sure people have also heard about the recent uh, HTTP2 rapid reset CVE, so we um, implemented some uh, fixes for that, uh, in, including the uh, Envoy features that uh, uh, Envoy provided to um, help um, mitigate that CVE. Uh, but uh, quite an interesting contribution from a community member uh, is kind of is the improved cache warm-up logic that we've uh, been able to um, have as uh, supported in Contour. So it takes advantages of some of the improvements in Client Go that were uh, developed recently. Um, being able to um, have events that in former events and event handlers internal to the Contour controllers um, actually propagate when those events are fully handled by the um, by those controllers, by those event handlers. So we can more accurately start up the Contour XDS server and start serving, uh, b building configuration um, uh, only once the existing state of the cluster has already been uh, warmed in, into Contour's internal cache. Um, something that many controllers actually for a long time have probably been technically getting wrong in Kubernetes. Um, so big shout out to um, the real AK-12 and also the, I, I believe it might have been John Howard who, who and, uh, and others who worked on uh, contributing to Client Go to uh, help fix this. So, yeah. Uh, uh, again, we wanted to just really give a huge shout out to our community um, because this doesn't work without you. Um, and we have uh, something in all of our release notes um, for every uh, every PR that's merged for every contributor that um, submits bug fixes or features to the project. We give them a shout out in, in the release notes with a link to their PR, but we also just wanted to take a second to put some names to the screen of some of our other contributors um, to say thanks for all of the help with Contour. And uh, this list may not be fully uh, um, uh, fleshed out, but these are the ones scraped from the release notes for uh, like kind of significant changes that uh, warranted a release note. But there may be others and maybe other people in this room who, I don't know, who uh, uh, contributed like other things and just want to say thank you. All right, and uh, yeah, just a quick chat about kind of upcoming uh, stuff in Contour. Um, uh, so, that, so we can see the plans for the Contour 1.28 release um, in the GitHub milestone. Uh, you should be able to see that on, on, our, on our GitHub um, repository. But uh, here's just kind of a highlight of some of the things that are currently planned for the release. Um, we're planning on supporting Gateway API uh, v1.0. Uh, many of you may have seen that announcement uh, here at KubeCon and on GitHub as well. Um, we're planning on implementing some of the more uh, extended features in Gateway API, so uh, HTTP timeouts, um, backend protocols, uh, being able to configure what backend protocols uh, using uh, service um, fields on in, and having that work properly with Gateway API, um, and also possibly uh, most likely backend TLS policy. Um, any of the any and all of these things are actually things that are open to the community to contribute. So you can get your feet wet with Gateway API, get your feet wet with Contour. Um, it'd be great to have community contributions um, for any of the, any and all of these things. Um, we're planning also to migrate to 
uh, using endpoint slices by default in this release, um, but uh, still giving you an option to uh, revert back to uh, endpoint support if you absolutely need it, if you f encounter any issues. Um, and yeah, here's some of the kind of future, more general uh, roadmap stuff that we'd like to talk about as well. Yeah. Um, again, like I was saying, you know, we're, this is a community-driven project, um, and so we're continuing those initiatives. Uh, we are also working diligently to expand maintainership, um, and we have all of the explanation of that in our government governance doc in the repository. Um, you don't have to start writing code to contribute. Uh, we're looking for reviewers as well. Um, we want to hear your opinions. Um, we have uh, community support in Slack, which is a good way if you are experienced in Contour and you want to help other people out um, and reduce the support burden on the maintainers to get yourself on that path to maintainership, that would be awesome as well. Um, we're also working on the website architecture to overhaul that. Um, and then working with partners who are running in co Contour and production. If uh, you are running it in Prod and we don't know about it, please let us know. Um, we want to work with you to help improve the efficiency, improve the observability, improve your experience with using Contour. Uh, and then, again, continuing to be fully conforming with Gateway API. Um, and then to get some parity between the HTTP proxy CRD and uh, the Gateway API offerings. Um, we have been doing um, ad hoc community meetings as an issue arises um, that benefits from time, you know, uh, synchronously communicating. Uh, we hold meetings like that, um, and as they become more frequent, then we'll have an, a regular release cadence again. Um, but uh, one of the things that we ask is that if you want to chat with us, like, let us know. We're very happy to set up a meeting. Um, and we're looking for a community help uh, to put together learning path and content for general networking and networking with Kubernetes, um, especially so people can start understanding more about how Ingress works and what Contour, Envoy, what Kubernetes even does. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's my big ask. Please, get involved. <laughs> um, some stats about Contour. We've been around for a while. Um, a lot of image pulls, a lot of, a lot of releases. Um, we've got Twitter, GitHub, a YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, if, there's, if, there, if you need to reach us, we're very easy to find. Um, I am at Nigel in the Kubernetes Slack. Um, feel free to ping me. Uh, and I think I'm at Sanjay Bhatti. I forget what my handle is, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the, the Contour chan channel on Slack. Um, uh, we love to have people ask questions and also an answer each other's questions, right? Um, we have a few maintainers, but it's really great to see when uh, uh, community members are answering each other's questions. Like, that's one of the great things we want to see. So, um, yeah, GitHub, Slack. Uh, if you're interested in contributing, please drop us a line. Um, yeah. Thanks so much for coming to the update for Contour. Uh, if you have any questions, we have some time to take them. Um, and if you have feedback, there's a QR code. Any questions? Hi, uh, I'm Canon Palms from Influx Data. We're using Contour in production. Um, one of our biggest pain points so far has been with the, the at least as documented, the, the four-phase upgrade process. Uh, I noticed that, so we, we only recently began using Contour in production, but I noticed that there was an operator that was then deprecated that I imagine had, I don't know if it actually did you know, solve some of these problems, but at least had a chance to solve some of these problems. Uh, is the upgrade process as documented on the website still the, the best and sort of only way to uh, get through these upgrades of, you know, apply the CRDs, then apply the, the search in job, then apply the new envoy, so on and so forth? Or is there a better way? And is that something that you, we'd consider as a upcoming roadmap item for next year? Yeah, I think, so on the operator, um, we 
that kind of has fallen a little bit by the wayside just because we the community contributors to that um, kind of uh, stepped away. Um, so we had, uh, that, that's kind of been uh, um, deprecated just also because the, um, the contour gateway provisioner um, component um, is kind of, I guess, replacing that, you could say, for dynamic, dynamically um, provisioning contour. Um, so for upgrades in general, I believe, yes, so installing Contour as a um, standalone with the YAML uh, as, as documented, that is currently the recommended approach, I guess. But with the Contour Gateway Provisioner, we have kind of, like you alluded to, the chance with the operator to improve that experience and kind of do a little bit more um, operator-like uh, work um, with that component. And that can be used not just with Gateway API, that can be used with um, uh, just HTTP proxy or ingress as well if you're, if you're interested in that. So, um, yeah, I think that's definitely something we, could, we can work on improving on the uh, gateway uh, uh, provisioner component for sure. And, yeah, if you're interested, let us know and uh, we can try to, try to prioritize that. Yeah, what I would say is um, let's have a discussion about if you open an issue um, in the repository and then we can talk to other folks about their upgrade, like pains. Um, I know this is a big conversation in the Kubernetes space right now, especially with uh, working group LTS spinning back up. Um, but yeah, if if there are any sort of friction that you have with upgrading, we yeah let us know, and we'll see what we can do about improving that process. But yeah, please open an issue, um, and we'll have a discussion from there. Thank you. Hey folks, first off, thanks for all the work you do on Contour. Uh, we use it heavily at Reddit. It serves production traffic every day. We love it. You're doing a great job. Um, one feature I was kind of curious about if you get much feedback on or desire to expand that I've used for years now is the ability to get a dot output of the internal graph in Contour. And then, you know, I think the docs probably have you like pipe it through graph is still to get some kind of visualization. It's it's really cool and really helpful in trying to understand where links might be missing in regards to like downstream or I guess in proxy terms, upstream dependencies. Um, do y'all get like much desire or feedback on desire to like expand that out? Have you seen cool stuff in the community that tries to like scrape that data and provide more live up-to-date visualizations? Just kind of curious what you've seen. I don't believe that I've seen too much personally with people doing a lot with that, but I think it's an area that's would be interesting to explore because um, it is a bit. It's not the easiest, I would say, at the moment to debug why your routing may not be working. Right? Um, we have status on uh, HTTP proxy. We have status on the gateway API resources, so we can kind of show you. Okay, your service is misconfigured. You've typoed this cert secret name or something like that, but. Um, the kind of logic for precedence rules of, of, of how routes are ordered in Envoy configuration, you kind of have to go look at the Envoy config dump at the moment or, or kind of parse out the, um, the DAG output um, yourself. Um, I think that's an area, actually, we, we talked with uh, some folks from Reddit who are interested in kind of changing or turning different options on for how routes are sorted in uh, the contour DAG and the output to Envoy. Um, so I think that, yeah, that sort of operating, uh, uh, that, that would be something that we'd be interested in just to make contour easy to operate, easy to reason about, and also be able to give different kind of personas ability to reason about what's going on with the routing, right? Like we could have um, uh, a contour operator, the administrator of contour, they they have RBAC access. They have access to the contour pods, possibly all this stuff. But an individual HTTP proxy owner or an individual site owner doesn't really have that access to to debug that. So that's definitely an error we can improve. Um, uh, and yeah, we'd love we'd love to uh, work with you all on that. Um, yeah, and if you have any recommended visualization tools um, or like any recommended workflows, uh, if you let us know, then definitely want to take a look at that. I think that could be fun. Yeah, and definitely not if you're not super familiar with Kubernetes controllers, but you're interested in 
other areas, right? This is kind of one of those things where you can get involved with a community without having to, you, having a high level understanding of how Contour works, how Ingrid works will help. But um, this is an area where you can kind of get, get your feet wet, but starting with a different technology maybe than a Kubernetes controller. So, um, yeah. Yeah, thanks for the question, Josh. Uh, do we have any, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, this is more of a basic question. Um, I'm stuck on an older version of Kubernetes. In order to use the Gateway API with Contour, I need at least um, Contour 122 and then Kubernetes 124, is that right? Yeah, I forget the exact version compatibility of Gateway API nowadays of the latest releases, but uh, I believe like the latest releases of Gateway API are supported up to Kubernetes 125. Um, but we have a, uh, we can send you a, or show you a link to kind of the compatibility matrix that we have on our website. Okay, that should show website, um, kind of the compatible versions of things. All right, thank you. Yeah. All right. Is that all? Thank you all so much for coming. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, we've got one more. Sorry, you clapped prematurely. I just wanted to, for it to be on record, thank you to the contributor who added endpoint slice support. It's awesome, thank you. <laughs> yeah, awesome. thank you to, I think it was Clayton that read it and did that, so thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, you don't have to clap again, but uh, thanks so much for coming. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, thank you all for attending and uh, hope to talk to you yeah. Talk to you soon. Enjoy the end of KubeCon. Take care, y'all. Bye.